from two store from my TRY sections today it's the 7th of October and the sun is shining the sun is shining I may have oh I haven't charged up my phone um, so I want to do a little video today so I'll have to charge up my phone why am I wearing my glasses because oh, I was just looking at something anyway I want to show you what I've been doing in nine um, and I finished the unit in five which is ready to come in here but I want to do this unit first and then once this unit's done um, I can, I'm can. i just going to clean under the carpet I'm going to get the carpet cleaner but I won't clean under the carpet where the unit's going because uh, I want to push it back oh I could do it, it's on legs oh, it would get enough air wouldn't it anyway I want to um, clean the carpet next today because the sun's shining I just want to show you this unit I'm doing and I'll show you the one in room 5 but I have to charge up my phone anyway so here we go to paint this unit I can't get that knob off and I couldn't the only drawer I could get out was this one the rest of the drawers I can't get out you have to sort of push them but they just won't come out so I'm just uh, painting it with the drawers in anyway I, I need to get that knob off because I can't actually get it off it's sort of fixed in and I can't seem to get it off so I have to get Simon to get that off and then we're going to use the glass knobs on there glass knobs on here but the knobs at the moment the screw things are too long and stick out too far so I need Simon to just cut a bit off the um, the flat headed screw things anyway so that's where we're at so what we're doing today so I painted this with a coat of white and mulch and today we're going over it with a clotted cream oh yeah today Today we're going over it with a clotted cream and we'll get this finished by today. Uh, I've brought in the green as well. I've only got a little bit left so I've got to make a stretch for this whole cabinet. Um, yeah, that little green pot there is for this. And that will match the other unit which is in the other room which is the same colour, the green. The other colour that I got on the four poster bed and the bedside cabinets is a different colour. So this would be slightly different, so that's going to come in here. Anyway, I'll show you that once it's in here. Okay, I've off well. my DIY section today, and it's the 11th of October 2023. My hair is wild, <laughs> and it's pouring down with rain today. The last two days it hasn't rained, so we managed to get some stuff done outside, but now it's pouring down with rain again. So everything that I'm doing today is going to be done indoors. I've got to do a load of um, sort of office work later on because so, i've got to order some food and uh yeah do some invoices and stuff like that but that's later but for the moment we can't, we're in number four because we've um we painted the inside of the cupboard uh and i've given it one coat and i've got to do the top cupboard bit i'll show you in a minute and then i want to show you what i've done in five and nine uh, they're nearly done now completely uh, I'm just needing to do the bed in five today because the bed's been put in there now, the mattress and everything. And then Simon's got to put the bed in nine and make that, uh, put it together. So hopefully he'll be doing that today and then I can make that bed tomorrow. And then basically them two rooms will be completely done. I've also painted the doors in number six um, because they were all brown and where I tried to make them look like wood it didn't really work in there because I didn't that's before I figured out my technique to use but they're being painted with the um, greeny colour anyway and then put a coat of eggshell on but today what I want to do is concentrate on room four for a minute and get some snagging jobs done and round the window it, I noticed it needs a bit of sanding and touching up with the paint um, and round the edge I noticed I could do with uh, putting some sealant or something around the edge I have to have a look see what we got for that anyway so and I just need to check in fours uh, I think I've done the doors in four now I think I did them it's hard to say whether I've put a coat of eggshell on them sometimes it's hard to tell yeah it's slightly glossy but it's it's really hard just by touching it you can't tell you have to actually get a light on it to actually see if you've done it because it's really hard to see the eggshell because it's so subtle to, it's not like satin it's just sort of like to coat it so it doesn't get it's um, easier to wipe but I have done all these doors yeah that's definitely done 
Yeah, I'm just checking. Yeah, I can see that's done. But it is hard to tell when you're doing so many doors. But what I'm doing is painting them with the with the wall colour first, because uh, it's for wood. Um, and then I'm painting them with. Uh, sorry, it's not for wood, but I use it as an undercoat, and then I paint over it with a coat of eggshell uh, to protect it. But today's mission is in here, so let me just show you. Okay, this is well, today evening. I painted this with a coat of the the paint because it looks a bit crappy and I just need to do the top bit. As you can see, I need to paint the walls bits in the top, but I didn't have the store and I ran, I ran out of energy basically. So I'll do that bit first today. So then that bit will be drying. And then what I want to do today also is in here, I noticed, not this, this, I can't help this, is just to, I've noticed we need some kind of ceiling along here. Uh, but I'm, I probably won't be doing that yet. That's just me being fussy. But I definitely think we need to do some kind of sealant again on the edge. Uh, I just need to touch it up. Um, and especially up there. Because where we had the rails on. There's uh, where they've been filled. They just need to rub down very ever so slightly. And there's a bit of paint miss missing in there. I just noticed I need to touch that up. Um touch that bit of wall just under there i just noticed there's a mark there um and then this room will be completely done i've actually made the bed in here but i think i might change out the cover because it doesn't really go so i do have some green covers which i might put on the bedding to take that gray one off um i don't really like it so i'm going to find a different color to cover that over with. um and then what i was doing yesterday also was in number six this evening i painted the back of this door so this has ha had a white coat of paint but i only had a little bit left and i managed to make it stretch so this is going to have a coat of the greeny color on it now so that'll be done um and then a coat of um the eggshell so around here i've also painted the two sides of this door and I'm, i like leaving this bit wood it looks really classy and then that's that side so i'll be doing that again today uh, so that'll be done and then in here what was i going to do i was going to take out the trim oh no what i was going to do is just cut that bit of trim off there see that and it needs just cutting off because there's sort of indentations on this bar and with this stuff it's quite thick i did buy a gray one but i don't think i'm going to get around to doing that right now um yeah, I, don't, I just don't think I'm going to. I do have a grey trim. I think it's too narrow for that bit there. Anyway, so then we're come finished doing this room. So that's kicked into action. That's done. These doors are already done, I think. Or have I not? Um, I don't think I've counted those with eggshell. And we need to change the knobs. Uh, to put the glass ones on because we're using glass knobs everywhere now because they look cool so that's that that will be done that television goes in another room uh, but i want to show you my really great rooms are oh, number five <laughs> so we're nearly done in here so the bed um, Steve helped Simon move the mattress yesterday, so the mattress is now on the bed. Um, we brought these lamp lamps in from number six, but we don't really like the lampshades because they're black. Uh, so we're going to see if we can buy some new lampshades. Um, brought this piece of furniture in that fits perfectly in here. Looks a lot smaller in here now because that other thing jutted out a lot and you need a lot of space to get through. We've got a table and a chair in here. What I need to do today is finish my mirror I was doing. So I need to finish the mirror. Um, yeah, the other side of this door. Uh, yeah, that needs a coat of eggshell. So I painted that several times with the... Uh, the uh, No, just once, I think. I came to, painted that with the greeny colour and now it needs a coat of the eggshell. I had to mend the sink because... Uh, this light fitting thing fell down and it was just glued on the wall and Simon moved it the other last week and it fell and it broke the sink 
So what I've had to do is a temporary fixing job with arrow dye and a bit of um, acrylic paint mixed up a colour which I can like that and that's it. So we'll, you can buy this colour sink. We were looking it up and you can still buy misty grey. This is a misty grey coloured sink. It might be a slightly different but we wanted to change this out anyway because we need a cupboard under here really so you can access the pipe work because this is all put in with these tiles so we're going to change this out so this gives us a good excuse to do this now so we're going to do this but after Patricia's been so we're going to wait till she's been we just apologize about the sink but um yeah because we don't want to change our color theme in our rooms why should we I mean it costs tons of money to change our bathroom suites and there's nothing wrong with them so that looks good doesn't it so we're going to put the mirror here so the mirror's going here I'm not sure if I want that mirror uh, because I think that mirror might look better in number nine where I've actually got the dressing table so this has been cleared so what I want to do oh and I cleaned all the carpet with my carpet cleaning machine uh, let's open these blinds. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, what I want to do today, yeah, there's all those jobs back there. I want to clean this carpet. I can't wait. I've cleaned all this carpet. It's a bit faded, the carpet. But once the bed is back, you won't really notice it. We were going to buy a new carpet, or I was going to stain it. There was a stain here. I had to scrub it. It's still a bit damp. That's why it looks a different colour. That stain didn't really come out. Um, but look at this furniture I did. Yeah, so what I need to do is just varnish the top so it doesn't get scratched. Varnish the top of it. And then this piece of furniture is coming here. This is more coloured than that. Because I had, a, a, see I wasted all the paint on this one. And I had very little paint to do that one with. But I think it looks perfectly lovely. So this one's in here now, but I think that mirror that was to the dressing table that was on fixed on here should go on here, on the wall here. And then Simon's got to bring in the bed, I right, help him, he's got to put it together and it's going in here. Um, yeah, you put that, that thing in there. I'm not sure if that's going to work with a bedside table. Anyway, I've done all these doors, so they're all done. I don't know if I showed you all this, but um, after Patricia's been, I am actually going to paint the inside of the doors as well so that they are match uh, because they, they're a bit scruffy, but I won't do that at the moment. So these are, that's ready to roll for the time being. At least it looks nice. Oh, these cupboards are a bit awkward. Simon needs to shave a little bit off, off the doors. Um, but that looks all right. So, yeah. So we're getting on really, really well. The place you, you other people, they must look at the place and think, "Fuck now, my God, they've got so much work to do." But really, it's not. It looks worse than it is because once you start clearing up, it soon comes together. And then all I've got to do in here is clean, clean the sink. I cleaned the fans the other day. So the fans. Are, I don't know why there's two fans in here. But I cleaned the fans the other day. Uh, and then all that we need to do in here, finish this door. And look, you wouldn't even know there was a hole in that door. There was a hole in that door. Completely gone. So anyway, so that looks really pretty, really nice. So that's done. Yeah, so what I'll do is, once Patricia's been, this edge of this wood needs to be the dark brown colour. But these are just fussy little jobs that we can do later. Now, I guess we won't even care. But to me and Simon, it's it's important that it looks spot on. As um as I will go, I don't know if I've done this one. Yeah, I've done that one. But on these, I haven't actually cut them in very well yet. So I want to get some tape and cut them in properly. Just little things like that, little tiny bit of paint there. You know, just snagging. But it is important to the overall effect. Because when I go and stay places... I do pick up on loads of, um, like that there, that paint there, look. Can you see where I've, it's got touched onto the wall? Bits like that, sort of tiny little things. But to me, you don't want to draw the attention to anything that could be negative in your room. You just want it to be positive. 
and then, and then also this ceiling I feel like it needs to be gone over again at some point because um, the paint we bought is really watery and I think we might have to invest in a good tin of um, yeah look there's some paint there I need to touch that up when I get my greeny colour paint out I can just come in here and touch that up because I can see white paint on there but we can do this after we let's you know, I mean, this is a million times better than what it looked like originally when we, when Simon first started on it the other week. And now it's nearly complete. So the television at the moment is just going to go on here. They are going to go on the walls with some panelling, but that's not happening yet. This light is staying here for now. We're not taking it off yet because we're not sure what we're doing there. Um, but there's going to be like some wood panelling and we're putting the TVs on that. Um, and then the wires are going to be hidden behind the TVs so you can't see all this wiring but at the moment that's it, that's the way it is so it looks really nice, so this carpet's all nice and clean so the rooms smell nice so my next job, I really really want to get my teeth in to clean the carpet in the hall in here and number 8, I haven't even looked in it I've got to move this thing back into the garage because there's no way for that to live I just want to have a look in it. I need to step through here. <laughs> oh, there's too many chairs in here. Now, this chair, I don't know where we're going to put that, but that can't stay in here. It's got a slipper chair. Yeah, this piece of furniture, I'm going to do what I did for the other rooms and make it look really pretty. Um, yes, I'll do that. I can't wait to do that one. But in this room, it just needs, we're, we're not doing anything in here. It needs a new mattress at some point, but it's not necessary. It's not important. What's going on with this TV? Why is it, why is it like that? I'm sure that TV was over that way. Anyway, so, yeah, this, this room hasn't been done. This is like the last room, I think, apart from number 11, that needs a complete paint. So this what this is going to be done after Patricia's been. We'll come in here and we'll, because um, we're getting a new bed to go in here, actually. This bed isn't staying in here. We're getting a new bed in here. I think we might take this bed upstairs to our flat, actually. But at the moment, we're going to be sleeping on the floor on a mattress because we haven't got time to do our bed. Because <laughs> we stole one of the beds out of the rooms um, when we were shut. Because I really love the Hypnos beds and I really want one of them actually. In fact, I'll, I'll just be alright with the Hypnos mattress. We'll see. I can easily sell that bed. Um, in here, what needs to... Yeah, look, see. See, this is what the doors look like before. They're just cheap, nasty. Cheap, nasty doors really. I mean, they're the cheapest doors you can buy. So we're going to um, try and snazz them up a bit by putting some strips of wood on. Um, so they look like the doors on the outside, but that's not happening today. So this room will just be cleaned. It'll be fine for what we need it for. We'll just leave it, clean it. It'll be ready to roll. It'll be all right. So we'll just do that. Uh, turn that piece of furniture around. I don't know why it's facing that way. Um, I've only got to find a home for this chair. Might have to go in the lobby, I think. I don't know. I don't know why it's in here. Anyway, that needs to be found a home. Um, I can't stay in there. That's got to come out. I've got to be careful here because the bed, mirror, dressing table, mirror thing. Oh my god. I've got to get out of here. Oh. Oh. Uh, yeah, so that's that. A beautiful clock. This has never worked, by the way. <laughs> Since we got it. It's French. Beautiful. Love that clock. Anyway, in that seven, I think we've got a chest of drawers. Mm hmm Yes. So we've got this beautiful chest of drawers here. Um, oh, I don't know where we're going to put it. It weighs a ton. It's really heavy. We had this lovely new light fitted. Uh, I'm not sure how it works. I think it works off the light switch. Yeah, look at that. So you've got... You've got a proper light and then a reading light. See? Nice. And then you've got an overhead light here, which works on one of these switches. There. See? 
So we've got an overhead light like that. And then we bought this light to match, so it's sort of modern. And in here, what we need to do is literally just come in here and colour the walls because this uh, we painted it all white in here um, uh, a couple of years ago, I think it was. So now we'll um, come back in here and change this. And this uh, bed needs a headboard. In fact, we're getting a new, a new um, single bed to go in here, a hypnos bed to go in here. Um, and we've got to make a headboard for it with the wood, I think, or whatever we're using. I can't remember now. Anyway, but that's not happening. That's ready to roll. There's only a kid going in here, and Patricia. So that'd be all right. And then we've got the nice little bathroom here. We just need to check it. It's not really being used at all, so it shouldn't need much maintenance, really, because it's not being used. Uh, ooh. Oh, that's a bit minging. What's going on there? I don't know what happens with these toilets. Like someone comes in here and goes to the toilet, and the only person that can be is my other half. Because I certainly do not come in these toilets using them. Anyway, but there we are. So that's what this room looks like. So this needs just uh, a bit of soul put back in it. Oh, yeah. And these bits need touching up, but they're grey, see? The only wall we painted grey was this one. And uh, yeah, but this one's ready to go. So it's a massive chair in here. It's way too big, really. But I've oh, got all these big chairs. Oh, okay, so that's done. So what we're going to do now? Stop procrastinating, Sue. Because that's what you're doing. And get on. And do some work. Oh, number three. That's quite a big job in there. Let's just have a look at that one while we're here. Yeah, number three. I've got to count how many Z beds we've got, so I might need to order another one. Um, number three is... Yeah, I'm leaving number three second to last. The reason being, so I've made the bed and everything, so I've done all that. That's all done. That's all ready to go. Because I thought, I want to come in and make the beds, because I do not want to be making all these beds at the last minute. I've got to do something with the top of this. So I might have to think about doing that after Patricia's been. It's just the, that's the coat underneath, but the top coat is distressing has come off, but that looks like it's the wood underneath. So what I need to do is come back in here. What I might just do at the meantime is just... Um, yeah, I might have to think about that one. I might have to get some paint and try and sort that out. Um, but what I'm going to do in here now, instead of stripping off all this paint, I thought, right, get the rest of this gunge off. I'm not going to do this now. I'm going to paint over it with the brown. That's what I'm going to do, because why didn't I think of that before for this window? Instead of taking off all this bloody paint, that's a nightmare. And then we can touch this up. Uh, this is this is looks all right. This has got a bit. I did do all this. Now it's got some paint on it. We just need to tone it up. This mirror just needs staining. Um, I might just go over it with the brown paint. Um, all right, it'll match this. So what we do is we just concentrate on that window and that bit of wood there. Scrape off that, sand it as flat as we can, and paint it with the brown. That's what I decided because I bought a new tin of brown. This is what I want to do. I want to do the trim in here because it's really awful. And I bought some grey trim. This Insta trim. Well, it's in the other room. But it's quite thin and I bought grey ones. So I'm going to put that on here. So I need to concentrate on getting that off. And that probably take me about an hour or so. Uh, but that needs to be done. So I'll have to spend a whole day in this room. Um, all around this window needs repainting here uh yeah because we have to put some more stuff on there because ever since we've had these new windows put in we've had issues in these bits look, like here look there's paint coming off again and we've had issues ever since we've had these new windows put in it's like they didn't put them in properly um and then we need to regrout this with some gray grout which i've got downstairs and that one there, and we need to repaint that because that's not done. Uh, I don't know about that there. 
it doesn't really match the room but we haven't got any other bits of furniture uh we, we can't take that out see we were going to take that out but behind there are loads of pipes and wires for the building that come up from downstairs so we cannot touch that so we had to put that back and it was like oh can't do nothing there because someone smashed it and he had to put a new piece of board on there uh, because he smashed the old one it had slats on it but um so we quickly painted it that was last year for the same group of people and that's how it's been left because then i was going to come in here and do this room obviously during this summer obviously i had a stroke and it put everything behind so i'm going to get that done and in here we need some new knobs yeah we're going to put some new knobs on here the glass ones these should come up quite easy i hope yeah they should do um so new knobs on there uh yeah i think that's it for this room and then it'll be done so that'll be ready to roll so yeah it's mainly round the windows to do and the grouting and the ceiling in the bathroom in here flooring is not going to be done this time that flooring was there last year when Patricia came because we had to we had to get to the floor because we had issues with the pipework or something underneath and then we had to, we, we just bought this tiny bit of flooring to go on there uh, but this room needs actual re redoing the floor but we have decided not to spend too much money on wasting money on this flooring because there's nothing wrong with this flooring in most of the rooms so it's like why are we going to change everything just to be trendy and what's the point you know there's a lot of rooms here we need to like get the place done that's it anyway so that's it so that's what i'm going to do today so i'm going to go now because i've been on here 21 minutes that's long enough okay so i'll see you again soon probably in the next video this will be a whole video in itself oh let's just show you number one and two hold on yeah, number two, nothing's happening in here. Uh, yeah, this room needs decorating. This is not happening. Nothing happening in here. These, this is the bed. It has two separate things. So I thought for the twin room, we're going to use this, even though they're sleeping right next to each other. It don't matter. They can have that. Anyway, this bed is the one to go in the other room. Um, yeah, we had... Uh, what's that hole there? Ah... I need to fill that with some filler yeah i need to paint this door quick i don't like that new bath side unless we know where the old one is yeah new bath side in here yeah that's got gray surrounds but that doesn't quite match the bath does it the one i just bought doesn't match the bath and that matches better than the one i just bought hmm anyway okay Anyway, we done all this last year for Patricia because we had to cut this out. This isn't finished yet. Got filling them holes at some point. And it had some weird light fixture coming all the way along here. We put this shower in. We went and bought this and we put this rail up so that you actually had a shower in here because it didn't have a shower. It just had this small bath. Well, actually, it's not a small bath. It's a normal size bath, but everything looks small to me. Um, and we put this shower in, which works really well. Um, yeah, we done all that. Because it had these taps. We had these taps put in about two or three, three, four years ago, I think. Uh, but it just had like the shower fitment down here. And, and, but no curtain rail or anything like that. And you couldn't really have the shower up here because it had this stupid, really long light fitting that went all the way over to here. For some strange reason, really wacky some of the things that have been done in this place, I tell you. Oh. So anyway, that's done. Uh, so in here we're going to be having some new wall lights, but we need to, uh, Gary, to look at the electrics in here. It's a bit odd with the wall lights, they're very odd. But that's not being done. This will just be set up, this twin room, uh, just to use. Oh, there's the bath side. We'll use that. we we'll use that. That's okay, we've got the bath side in here, number one. I've done this room. So Simon just needs to come in here, put these cabinets on because we needed to get into the boiler, not the boiler, 
what is in there on the immersion heaters you know water boiler things in there um yeah i'm gonna redo this chair do that up um but you don't really need this chair in here because it's got this furniture so what i might do is just put that chair in that corner and put this one which you can use this sort of table as well you see um because there's a lot of bedside tables in here it's got two there one there one there and then we use these two for the actual putting the teas and coffees on and everything and it's got this beautiful thing that goes at the end of the bed so we're not changing this room because i love this furniture um i made all this bed this is all ready to go towels soap ready to go that's done i cleaned all this bathroom this bathroom's ready to go it's all done um so with this booking i've got on the first night i have three lots um double and then the next night is uh, i have to put a single a, a additional bed in here so um because there's some youngsters coming with the parents so anyway this is all done I've, I've done all this this is not being done we're not doing this i'm not anyway this is all done this one i've cleaned all this this is really oh so i'm mean, just needs to adjust the toilet seat i knew there was a job in here the toilet seat needs um fixing so that job and that job and then this room is completely done um i've just got to order some coffees uh for the uh oh strange yeah we'll order some coffees uh, this carpet won't be cleaned this side of uh we do this after patricia brings the carpet is is uh been hoovered but i want to clean all the carpets with my carpet cleaner but i won't be doing that yet uh, and the same goes for free actually probably won't get around to doing the carpet we we'll just hoover it it looks all right it's fine it's not like filthy dirty or anything but i just noticed when you use a carpet cleaner it brightens it or brings it all back so i probably won't get around to that i have to use my time wisely have to use it wisely so today's job is definitely this one here so i'm definitely going to have to win this video here now because i have a lot to do and it smells of bleach in here <laughs> oh yeah i do have some special mirror tape that i bought that you can put see on here i need to do it i have cleaned this look it's nice and clean uh, it goes on the edge so you put it on along the edge and it hides this because I this is um, where, where it's, it's got the name and it does this and it's sort of there's moisture gets in under the mirror so look at the size of this mirror it's huge this mirror it's gigantic so you would not want to change that and it's only at the bottom and this tape will go on here and save me a fortune in a mirror you don't really want to change out a mirror this size and it's a lot of aggro so just you can always buy these things there's loads of things there's tricks loads of tricks um to to help you like get your place looking really spick and span and good without spending an absolute fortune on it you know i'm always i've always been like one for finding out how to do things that doesn't cost an arm and a leg anyway i'm gonna go now i'm gonna get on with this and i'll show you again in the next video let me say look right now um so i'm really proud of what we've done in rooms nine and five uh yeah they're then they're, they're almost done just need to do the beds um so i'm going to concentrate in here today get the window around sorted finish the doors in six and then hopefully i can start again in number three sanding that down then paint it with the wood with the brown and then do the distressed wood thing on the window why didn't i think of that before Duh. it's only because i just thought of doing that because i thought what got me onto that was in the bar area um because i painted all the wood gray and then and then we decided to have it back to the brown and it was like well I don't, i'm not stripping all that off i'm not doing it I did say to Simon I was really angry because I said I'm not taking all the paint off the, there. I spent all that time painting it. And then I thought, you know what? What I could do is just paint it with dark brown. Because if you paint it with the stain, it won't work. Just the stain. 
But if I paint it with a, a dark brown paint and then distress it a little bit, then put a bit of um, wood stain over the top and it looks just like you've stained the wood without all the tr effort. Really good idea of mine. <laughs> so anyway, so that's what I've been doing now and I do that on the edge of the doors. So where the edge of the doors are painted, I just go around with the wood with the um, the brown and then just put some stain on top and it looks like that you've really taken a lot of care in just um taking the you know getting the paint off the wood on the edge of the door so which you wouldn't want to do because that's bloody hard so anyway so that's what i'm going to do number three it came to me last night when i was in bed i just thought oh the window number three god that's a pain and then I thought, no, just do the wood thing like you've done for the skirting pod set. So this is what I think about when I go to bed. Great, eh? Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you again soon in the next video. And then hopefully all the rooms will be done by then. So that's when I'll be doing an update on the videos, okay? Is once the rooms are done. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye for now. Bye.